important moments in black history have been left out of American history books. For example, many Americans have never heard of the Tuskegee Airmen, the first official group of African American pilots to serve in the US military. They risked their lives defending our country during World War II while also facing the discrimination of the Jim Crow era. But did you know that there was another group of African American pilots that came in just before them? I didn't until I saw this documentary last night. Take a look. I ain't sleep. Now, this here is the story of the real first black airmen of World War II. Now, few people know this, but the Tuskegee Airmen Red Tails weren't the only black pilots in World War II. Before the Red Tails, there were us, the Blue Feathers. Now, we didn't have the training that the Red Tails did, but we had something better. Heart, no one ever talks about us Blue Feathers, but we were the stars of the Tuskegee Institute. The Red Tails were excellent pilots. We all agree with this. But the Blue Feathers had something those Red Tails never had. Zero impulse control. There were nine of us. And one fateful day, July 18th, 1941, we took off to defend our country in the war. Davis was the first to go. While he was in the air, he radioed me and said, think I can get into outer space? <laughs> and I replied, no, you could not. I begged him not to, but it was too late. He flew straight up until he ran out of fuel. His fuel of plane would plummet to the earth sometime later and kill more people. Then Washington and Townsend decided to get in their planes and race each other. A plane race. Who the hell ever heard of a plane race? I tried to tell him it was a bad idea and that we were meant to fight for our country. And they told me to eat shit. <laughs> yes, they did. They smashed into each other instantly and died. Garrison, Martins, and Green decided to see if they could get in their planes and do the electric slide. For a second, they could. But eventually, they died. Smith and Lamar decided to see if they could reach out of their planes and high five each other during a flyby. They could not, they died. The Red Tails were going to be some of the most famous pilots the world has ever known. Whereas not a single member of the Blue Feather survived that first day. Fun fact, not a single one of us lived long enough to be killed by the enemy. Even I died. This is a reenactment. Remember that plane that Davis flew in the outer space? Well, as soon as I landed safe and sound, Davis's plane smashed me like a pancake. That's why every year on this very day, we celebrate Blue Feathers Day by doing something you shouldn't do. Chug! <laughs> oh yeah, come on. Come here, let me slap you. <laughs> come on. Ah, slap fight. Ah, I, I got you that time, didn't I? <laughs> come on, come here. I can get you. Look at me, coming for you. Here he is. They call me, call me slappy, that's what they call me.